<laughs> I'm muted. Hey, y'all, what's going on? Welcome back, y'all. We are back again for another episode review of Survivor, y'all. This is season 46, episode 10, Run the Red Light. Okay, look. <laughs> Play the damn idol. Play the damn idol. That's what the name of this episode should have been. It. Okay, the that just needs to be whole season. That just needs to be the theme of the rest of this season. Play the damn idol. Listen to your gut and play the damn idol. Why are we sitting on this? Okay. Um, I didn't mean to immediately go in. Welcome back, y'all. Of course, you know, you got your auntie Momo here. You've got my survivor soul sister right here, Miss Jen. Uh, how was your day, sis? She said, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was another day, but I did get to talk to a handsome uh, co-worker. <laughs> Whoop, whoop. We putting it out there in the atmosphere, manifesting this man, manifesting all that good stuff. Okay. Um, Survivor was good. Okay. I feel like, um, it, now mind you, me and my sis just got through watching it. Okay. So we're fresh off of it, ready to go in on these folks. I do not understand. Now we have three idols out plus an extra vote all out the door. What the hell is we doing? That just needs to be the running theme with the show. What the hell is we doing? The running theme is, have we watched an episode before? <laughs> Are y'all really Survivor fans? The season. Have you seen any episode besides last season? Maria and Charlie have. Definitely Maria and Charlie have. Definitely Maria has. Because Maria, quite, quite frankly, is the only one that's strategically playing this game. And Charlie... No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade to him, but he's her little lap dog. Mm -hmm. He's following behind the moves that she's making, and she's making all the moves. So let's get into this, okay? So we just pick up um, from the Hunter vote, Hunter fresh off the vote. You know, of course, we know he went home once again with an idol in his pocket. And I was just talking about this. It's the fact that everybody thought that Hunter was bluffing about his idol. And then nobody knew that Gemma had an idol. So technically, there still could be two idols that are floating out there on that island that nobody even knows about. The, why? And I wonder, has anybody even been trying to look for one? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Because the only real Survivor player so far has been Jess. <laughs> He's played an idol, even though it's fake. She's and still, it was a fake idol. That was the still, only idol played. We are 10 episodes still, in. Let's let's talk about it. We just it. have to give you the black girl stare with the silence on that because that don't make no goddamn sense. And okay. I, oh, and we were rooting for you, Tiffany. We were rooting for you, Tiffany. You, I mean, it, if you have any sort of doubt in your mind, and when you are the most comfortable, is when you need to be uncomfortable and you need to be on your goddamn toes. I'm sorry, no shade to the cast, but they are they're all playing like a bunch of amateurs. And for two oh, people who are survivor super fans, the only reason why we're not on it is because bitch, I can't swim. And comment in the comments as a survivor super stand how you feel in this season because how are you feeling? Y'all are feeling the same like us. Because I, I, I'm very frustrated. I'm not gonna lie. So Liz feels like I mean, because she was she was left out. Of the hunter yeah. vote mm -hmm. uh, again, left out of a damn vote. Okay, um, Q is still here. How is it that Q done made it through? <laughs> I swear to God, Q Q is a motherfucking cat. He got nine lives. How many? He done already. He done got two out the way. So what? He got about seven more left. Three times, and people are like, uh, Q Q Q death. Uh, <laughs> Q, 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 soda. Q, Q. I mean, he's literally a smoke screen for all the blind sides that have been happening. It's like y'all are, uh, y'all are playing a and bunch I still, of amateurs. I, I said, now it's strategic to keep them. Now oh, there's yeah. no reason for anybody left on the island to get rid of him. In fact, you're going to be, that's your ride or die number one, buddy. If you Thank you. Have, Seen Survivor, you're gonna be the fill to Boss and Rob. Like he's exactly. 
And that's exactly what Maria's seen because Maria's the only one who's actually playing this game because Q isolates himself off to the side because he knows that everybody's oh, really not play with anybody. They just and he, I think he knows that they only need him for a vote, but he just wants to. And be he's here. okay with that. He's okay with that. He's okay with that. So Maria is like, well, you know what? I mean, which is true because she does see that Q, you know, he goes off to a part of the island and he's just sort of there by himself and, you know, sort of sulking. And so Maria goes over there to him and is like, hey, I just wanted to come and check on you. Make sure you were OK. You know, da, 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 da. And he appreciates that because, again, he has nobody on his side right now. And so Maria is like, you know, Q sees that he's down and out and that he doesn't have a shot to win. But I see that as the number. And because Q is so desperate right now, of course he's going to go riding with Maria because Maria is the only one that's now approaching him with any sort of gameplay. All the people is the strongest person in the game that's coming up to you. Yes, I'm going to align with Maria. She's smart. <laughs> you better get that damn vote. I say it's now, number one. Who was my top three? Just remind yourselves. <laughs> that part. You were right about that, sis. You were right about that. So... Kenzie, Maria, and Charlie, they quickly come up with a plan to blindside Tip. Now, we already know Kenzie was gung-ho to do this in the, what, well, since episode still, three. I knew. Yep. Yeah, since episode three, she's been gunning to get, get her out. And this is the thing. I feel like everybody is so wrapped up in trying to build up their survivor resume they just voting out people. There is no for no reason for no rhyme or reason. Free agents and and I don't know why still people feel comfortable. Like I'm all right. No idol needed. Like <laughs> this is wild wild west survivor. Like and no rules of like like it the doesn't make any like sense. Charlie like, and Maria and Ben. Yeah. Well, Maria wants to get it's Tiffany out because she has an idol. That's the only and reason. Then Kenzie wants to get enough reason. Yeah, and then Kenzie wants to get Tiff out. Um, no, would say Maria. Maria wants to get Tiff out because she has an idol. Kenzie wants to get Tiff out because that's her number one, and she sees that's the number one thing you can do on your resume is to get your number one. No, that makes you look like a conniving, backstabbing little bitch. That don't make that don't build up your survivor resume. That does not. Like again, when did y'all start watching Survivor? I really don't. I don't. I don't get the rhyme or reason behind these folks. I don't. Now, she says that she has to get Tiff before Tiff gets hurt because she knows it's coming, which is crazy as hell. Because, like I told you, I was watching a podcast earlier. Shout out to Rob has a podcast because I watch his ass all the time. Okay, and he had Tiff on there. And Tiff was even saying Kenzie was her number one. She had no, no, no plans of getting rid of Kenzie. Kenzie was literally her number one. Did she that's some bullshit right there? Then about how she felt about Kenzie's plan. Um, I forgot what she said. I mean, she said, you know, she it it, it did hurt her a little bit, but she said at the end of the day, she knows that it's a game. She knows that a part of it is backstabbing and, and things like that. But like she said, hindsight is 2020. Has she been paying attention to all the little side conversations that Q and Maria were having? Then maybe then she would have, you know, been paying more attention to be like, hmm, wait a minute. That don't seem right. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know. G girl. Okay. Let's get to the good part, y'all. So we have a reward challenge. Okay. The reward challenge is a food challenge and the, the winning person or whatever gets to get this big feast from Applebee's. OK, they get the the, the spinach artichoke dip and the, the, all the appetizers and the boneless yes. buffalo wings and the little egg roll things. And then um, what is it? The, the bourbon salmon with the shrimp. I mean, all the good stuff. Right now, as soon as Liz sees this, Liz damn near has a goddamn heart attack conniption fit. OK, because, you know, the bitch is allergic to everything. She allergic to air, water, fire, wind. She allergic to every goddamn thing. She allergic to coconut, every fruit. Only thing she can eat is the rice. Right. So she says every Wednesday night, her and her daughter have a survivor sleepover where she goes and she picks her up from school or daycare or whatnot. They go to Survivor. They have their, you know, their meal. The thing that she likes. To, or, I'm sorry. They go to um, Applebee's. Yes, Applebee's. 
and she likes to get her mushroom burger. Her daughter likes to get her pizza. Applebee's is their thing that they do every Wednesday night. So, of course, when Liz saw this, Liz got super excited. She's like, I have to win this for my daughter. Well, everybody out there hungry, they all got their own reasons why they got to win this, you know, this, this, especially this food challenge. If you don't try to win nothing else, you're going to try your damnness to win a food challenge, especially if it's a fucking feast with liquor. Okay. Bottom. I know I am. Bottomless. <laughs> Bottomless liquor. Okay. I'm there. Cold water on top of that. Hell yeah. So. He was locked in from the jump. I seen it in his eyes. Mm -hmm. The moment Jeff revealed what the food was, he was like, Jeff, I, I just want some wings. I want some wings. <laughs> his stomach was set. That nigga wanted some wings. That nigga was going to get his wings today. Okay? Is that what he it was, takes? To show, your, dead on it. If, if, to show your motivation, that's what it takes. <laughs> Listen, niggas love some wings now. Okay. He gonna get up and do something. Okay. Yard bird. It is. Okay, niggas is gonna jump buildings for yard birds. Okay. So <laughs> Q ends up winning, um, winning first place in it. Okay, ends up winning the challenge. Of course, he gets to pick some people to come with him. He ends up choosing Tiff first because he says that, you know, in his real life, he believe he believes in making things right. And so for him, he feels like he needs to make things right with Tiffany, of course, because he needs to try to get back in good so he can get that vote. He chooses Maria because Maria was the only person that came to check on him. Um, the, the Was it the night before the vote? And he felt like, you know, she was being a good ally. She was out there looking for him. So he chose her. And then he chose Kenzie because he said he, he thinks it's time to get the old family back together. OK, so he chose Kenzie. Baby, when I tell you that sets Liz the hell off. Oh. I'm talking about white woman tears. Oh. Where's the holy water. <laughs> Where's the rose? <laughs> okay, bitch. Where's the Florida water? Okay, because we got to put a she who's hangry at the highest. Screaming. I want you in. She was mad. She was. I really mad. don't know who's got the the mo the hardest laugh out of me this season. Mariah, who couldn't jump. Girl. <laughs> 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 I still ain't forgot about that shit. <laughs> and then, like, I'm laughing at Liz because I'm Liz. When I get angry, I'm screeching. I just, I just can't take it anymore. And she was mad. If she could have spit fire out her ass, she would have did that, baby. She was hot. She was mad. She laid into Q. She let Q have it. Um... And then, like I said, when Tiff did the 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 um, interview, exit interview mm -hmm. that I seen her on on Rob has a podcast again. Shout out to Rob has a podcast. She was saying that it was so much more intense in that moment because it was so awkward. Everybody was quiet. They just let her vent. They let her get it out. I think if anything else, this season's Survivor cast is probably that has the highest emotional. Uh, intelligence I've ever seen in my entire season. Yeah, damn, so ain't got no gameplay. There's no, no gameplay, but y'all got the emotional quotient on lock. No, no <laughs> gameplay, no nada, no none of that. So, you know, Liz eventually calms down, and oh, oh, and that's another thing. Um, Tiff was saying that Maria and Kenzie actually tried to give up their spot to give it to Liz, and I guess it was up to Q, his discretion, and he said no, that it was strategic for him, and he was going based off of what he was feeling at that moment. And then when he said to Liz, when Liz was going off, you blew up my spot and you da 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 da, -da he was like, right, but Liz, you voted for me last night. That's all he had to say. He, he just said two things in response, and he was honest and straightforward and, and just 
And she couldn't, how do she you couldn't, She that? couldn't say it. Yeah, you, you can't rebuttal that. Legitimate reason in Survivor for me to not break bread with you. That really part. Is. But at the same time, when y'all are at the sanctuary, <laughs> counting down on your Applebee's, after you get up and go off and take a little walk to walk your food off, you got Tiff and Kenzie over here like, um, just because you broke bread with us don't mean that we going to forgive you for the shiesty ass shit that you did. And Maria is soaking all of mm -hmm. this. That's, that's listening her. to all of it so she can run back and tell her lap dog. That's a good, that is a good player. That's what works for her. Cause nobody's paying attention how much she's at she's all. Everybody, she'll go to Charlie and say all these. I didn't even pick up certain conversations. The only two names that have not come up well, three Kenzie's name has not come up for elimination, Maria's name has not come up, and Liz's name has not come up. Mm -hmm. Charlie, Ben, Venus, Q, Tiff, they've all come up. Maria, especially, baby, she is literally flying I mean, under the radar. Yes, I don't know. We got another Siri in the making. <laughs> like, like that's who because Siri was cut. Siri was cold blooded, baby. Even when she went on the traitors. Yeah. Shout out to you, Siri, because that is one of my all-time favorite <laughs> survivor players in the history of Survivor. Me top. For me, you are my number one. You're the reason, as a black woman, I said, let's yep. do this shit. <laughs> let's watch. Yep. She's going to be on top. And I'm going to actually watch a whole season with a black person. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Yeah. Love so you. Maria is just sitting back. She's chilling. She's contemplating. She's making moves. And she's silent about it. And she's literally flying under the radar. Nobody's paying no attention to her whatsoever. So while they're all off talking and whatnot. And, like, I don't, and like, no one seems to notice that her and Charlie talk. I don't know how they don't know. But you know what? They're so busy with their own number one. They're not paying attention. Like mm -hmm. Kenzie and Tiff, they're, they're busy with their own number one. They're not even seeing the moves that Q's making. She, ben Marina, and Charlie... They're close with that. So Ben don't even see how close Charlie is with Maria because he's too wrapped up in how close he is with Charlie. Tim didn't even see it either. That was the other one I was going to say. Tim didn't even see it. So either that he chose Maria as his number one. Didn't even talk to her. And he didn't even talk to this bitch. But you put her in a lion. She ain't know a goddamn thing about <laughs> What the hell is we was still doing? Open. Like she was still open and playing the game, <laughs> playing with you at that moment. Brought to her attention. I, I wasn't afraid of that. I wasn't aware of that, but uh, let's see what can Okay, well, yeah. And you see how her being open and level-headed and aware. Mm-hmm. Like, she's not. And then on top of that, you see people are coming to her with vote ideas. And they're basically, I don't know if she's already planting little seeds. Because you know how you can make somebody think an idea is theirs, right? <laughs> if she's planting little seeds, because I do it at my job no. all the time with certain coworkers. I do that I do that in my everyday life at work. Plant little seeds so that, especially if it's somebody who I know is stubborn or bullhead or whatnot, I plant little seeds so they can come back and be like, hey, Mo, you think we should try? You know what? Oh, that's a good ass idea. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? That sounds smart. You know what I'm saying? All the fucking time. All the fucking time. I got all the fucking time. Anyway, so um, so yeah, I don't know if she was planting little seeds and then you know making people come back with the idea to do certain things, but she has already planted that seed or what it is, but whatever it is that's working, do it, Maria. Keep it going. Cause baby, if you keep going where you're going right now, like. You're, 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 you're going to end up taking this goddamn thing, right? So, of course, back at the other the other camp, you got Ben, Charlie, Venus, and Liz. All of them are pissed. Oh, Lord, look at Cold Train. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to get them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cold God. Train, that's our little survivor. Uh, he likes Survivor, too. He's watched every season with me. Every 
three. Shout out to Coltrane. He's walked um, every season. So another thing that I thought was 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 real fucked up was when they're at the sanctuary eating, when it got down to that goddamn burger that Liz lost her motherfucking mind about, they didn't even eat that burger. They really didn't. Wow. They did not even eat that burger because they were all too full. Liz, I understand why she was pissed. I, I was gonna try and sneak. I was gonna if I was there, I was gonna try and sneak something. And and one of my I would have tried to too, but then I don't know if you could. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if you could have though. Done so, <laughs> you know, I like, oh, gotta watch you. They watch you. I gotta throw up. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't <laughs> yeah. my bad, but you know what I'm saying. Right. I feel because I would have thought the same thing, like then you can't take take like a, a, a piece of meat back just break a piece of the burger off or a piece of the cheese or something to give to her but my bra and been like girl please. i would have i just know and me I I, you want this soggy it. bread but you mm -hmm. want the soggy titty bread because i got some soggy titty bread if you want it's a little sweaty and it's a little salty but it got my pheromones on it. You gonna love me. It's a good mama sweat, titty sweat. Okay, kept it warm for you, girl. Got a little seasoning on it for you. <laughs> Just for you. Bon appetite. Demonetize. So, Demonetize. <laughs> Fuck it. No, it's not. <laughs> Just playing. Okay, y'all, but for real. The immunity challenge, okay? The immunity challenge, this is one that I like just because I like to do um, arm exercises as it is. And I feel like that's something that I I don't know if I would have lasted a whole 38 minutes, mm -hmm. but I definitely could have good. I could have did a good solid 10 minutes of that for sure. They had to hold 25 percent of their pregame body weight. And it was literally just that you've seen it plenty of times in Survivor where they hold the bucket. And of course, the bucket will keep dropping and dropping. You have to hold it with your strength until finally it drops down, right? Mm -hmm. There was, I I just, quite honestly, I knew Tiff would do good. I knew Maria would do good. And I thought Q would do good as well. Q is an athlete, okay? He's he's a literal, he's, he's a fucking athlete. Tiffany, have you seen the bitch body? Like have you seen her arms? Solid, but it's also even. She's like fat even same thing with maria and lower body evenly matched yes oh. same with maria maria's cut up and all that too so i expected for them to get up there and blow this thing out but the least person that i thought i knew venus wasn't gonna do well just because she itty bitty and the same with kenzie she itty bitty too i wasn't expecting a whole lot from liz yeah liz ain't really ate nothing so i didn't expect a lot from her but Charlie was not one that I seen to win. This shows the rise. So she that's, said, that's right. So it came down to that because Jeff was like, look here. Last time I tried to negotiate for you guys to stay out for y'all to get the bag of rice. That's right. Does anybody want to take this up again? Everybody's sort of like, mm, but of course, Liz is, you know, contemplating it because she ain't ate nothing. So Jeff is like, okay, well, I'll make it a little sweeter for you. If nobody... You know, if, if four of you don't want to step out, for whoever does step out, you get your own personal thing of rice, and hopefully this will carry you through the next few days. Now, first, Kenzie was going to step out with Liz, because of course Liz going to step out. She needs that rice. She hadn't eaten anything. But Kenzie saw that she would have been the only other person that sat out. So Kenzie's like, no, um, for, for me personally, I think I'll be fine because I can eat the coconut. Like, no no offense or nothing towards Liz, but I mean, you need the rice, but I'll be all right with the coconut. So, of course, Liz steps out because she needs the rice. So she got her own little personal thing of rice. And if I was her, to hell with y'all. Y'all can't have not a not a grain. Mm -mm. I don't give a shit if, that ha uh -huh. if it falls uh -huh. in the sand. I'm going to pick it up, blow it mm -hmm. off, and it's still uh -huh. mine. Mm -hmm. Still mine. So she sat out. She got her rice. It came down to Charlie and Tiff. Tiff was solid. They were up there 12 minutes. Hadn't Tiff moved. was solid. Hadn't moved. She was like a statue. She was good. Anything. Just focused. Zeroed in. Focused. And like you could tell her she was leaning and she did have weight on her legs. And it yes. was even between the leaning back. and the, So there wasn't much on her arms. Not until necessary. Like I saw that. Other yes. people were struggling by a minute five, which probably would have been me. 
because uh, people didn't realize how you it's you had to have your feet in it to adjust that weight. So you're literally not just holding it with your hands because yeah, you're gonna lose your grip that way. Mm -hmm. The moment she adjusted is when she lost her grip and she was out of there, and I could see the defeat all over her. Anybody in that moment would automatically be thinking, shit, there's a possibility I could be going home because I don't have that damn immunity around my neck. And at any point I don't have it around my neck, if I have anything else, I should use what I have. I should. Should. <laughs> Tiff needed this win. She needed this win, and I don't even think she realizes how bad she I didn't realize how she needed win. this win. Now, for a quick second, she contemplated playing Idalisha, right? Yeah. For a quick second, she contemplated it, but she was like, I'm if she said, I'm a betting woman, and if I had to bet my money, I know for a fact Q is going home tonight. You never, that's like the famous last words, baby. Vegas, girl, bye. <laughs> there if goes. If you want to bet, yes, if you want to bet, baby, go to the slots. This is Survivor. You don't bet on Survivor. Have, an immunity. Have immunity in your pocket. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. And, 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 another. And this is and this is another thing that I heard somebody else say. I forgot who it was. I think it was Hunter. Like, I don't want to play the risk of, uh, use the risk of playing this idol and then have to go search for a whole new idol the next day. Have That's the fucking seen game. A season. <laughs> That's the fucking what? game, Dodo. Hello. All this time. Between you ain't doing, shit else. doing nothing else but twiddling your thumbs, y'all can go look for an idol. Y'all did salsa. You can't look for an all idol. Was it salsa merengue? <laughs> Tango. It was, it was some bullshit. Whatever it was it's bullshit. Is what it was. I got that. It's like y'all, y'all, y'all don't have nothing. Else. Oh, it just frustrated me and frustrated me and frustrated me and frustrated me and frustrated me. If I oh, it just frustrated these shit out of me, right? So now Kenzie is having second thoughts on going through with the whole plan to blindside Tip because now she's like, Well, Q is a bigger threat, and now I'm feeling bad about it, and I'm not ready to baby. You put that in that atmosphere first. You put that shit out there. You cultivated that plan. And now that everybody wants to go through with the plan, you kind of feeling <laughs> fucked up about it. And now you kind of don't want to do it, right? So Maria sees that Kenzie's a little eh, eh, on it, right? Now, at first, it was going to be Maria, Charlie, and Ben, right? And Q. They were like, we got to pull somebody else in. Maria said out her mouth, she does not trust Liz. Did you see when she said that? Mm -hmm. She said she does yeah, not I, trust Liz. Was, no, like it she was, was like, uh uh, no, yeah, I don't I, trust I, Liz I, at I, all. And I still don't okay? know why, but I'm learning. Okay. Still don't know why she doesn't quite trust Liz. If anything, you see Liz is on the outs, pull her ass in for a number. And funny. then, have you seen her and Tiffany oh, close yeah. like this? Why would you think you couldn't go to Liz? Because you know Liz has it out for Q. I mean, it there, right there, right there. And so they, I don't think she trusts Venus either. So they didn't tell That's Venus not about not the vote interaction. Hell, and no. then no, and then they wanted to leave Kenzie out. Because they knew that Kenzie was close with Tiffany and because Maria seen that Tiffany, I mean, that Kenzie was kind of, uh, when it came to now, all of a sudden, we want to vote Tip out. Yeah, because yeah, now, like well, she said, didn't have the heart song as it did when I first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Once again, Maria is the only one that's quarterback in this play. And just listening to everybody and like people don't even like they're talking out of their ass and maria's like noted got it another pattern clear <laughs> execute <laughs> oh lord so out of either kenzie <laughs> venus or liz 
they're like, so who can we trust the most out of this? Because we got to bring in one more person for this Tiffany blind side. So, of course, they go ahead and bring in Liz. But again, they know that Liz has a personal vendetta to get Q's ass out. Now, let's just go ahead and get to the tribal council. Okay. So, once again, you know, I, I think it's, it's Jeff that brings up the fact that Q has been a smoke screen mm -hmm. for all of these blind sides that have been going on. He's been causing chaos in his own little way. And even by just the energy of the tribal council, it was all like, yep, it's going to be cute. We know what we have to do. We know how it is. Everybody's pretty much dead set on what it is. And even Q is like, Jeff, if I have to go home, I understand how it is. It's everything seems so fucking fake. And again, yeah. because we are the, the viewing audience watching, but it's like, y'all don't see how everything is just too fucking peachy keen right like, now like everything what's after Sh uh, shame <laughs> fool me twice what's after that right so <laughs> it was just too fucking perfect there was no tension there was no arguments everybody's like yeah. up, whispering to each other because that's now no. driver standard so now something's up I would be like some if I wasn't I, I like Venus, Liz, and Kenzie were sitting pretty, not thinking of anything else. Not Liz. Tiffany. Tiffany. Yes. I'm very disappointed in Tiffany. Tiffany was my number one draft pick. Well, I take that back. She was my number two draft pick. Tevin was my number one draft pick. <laughs> Tiffany was my number two draft pick. How you, I, I I don't understand, Tip. I don't understand. So they get up to do the votes. And they see it's for Q. And Tip C one is on her. And she's like, hmm. Yeah, she sees another one for Q. Oh, oh sorry, Q. Oh, that was Q. Then she sees another, cause, then she sees another one for Q. Because, yeah, I'm thinking she thought that, like, oh, yeah, you did me. Mm -hmm. Then when she seen her name twice, she was like, then she sees it again for the Lord, third time. She's like, what the fuck? Now Kenzie is like. And you can even see Venus' eyes were kind of like. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. Kenzie and Venus both. Like, she was this trying to make sure that her head, uh, that the, the <laughs> her scarf was still on from her head getting blown off. <laughs> I, um, hmm? um. Tiffany was pissed. She handled that blind side like a true champ. Of course, she got blind side and got voted out with Ida Leisha in her pocket. Now, before Rob, and shout out, once again, got a shout out to Rob has a podcast because he had mentioned this this morning on a podcast and I said this when I was watching the shit last night. Everybody's talking about how they want to build up their survivor resume. What Liz should have done, which would have been the explosive play of this year. Like the end of a, a top off a to finish Q and a top off to finish Q. Thank you. Your get back at Q. <laughs> as soon as Jeff said, if anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. Liz should have been like, Tiffany, you know what? This might blow up on me, but play your idol. Trust me when I tell you, play your motherfucking idol and play it right goddamn now. Now's the time. Pull the trigger. Now's the time. Play idol. that damn idol. That way, Q would have took his ass home. That would have revealed all of these motherfuckers for being fake and phony in your goddamn face. Y'all can all have a little powwow ponderosa and go look for an idol together the next damn day. And then she would have been fucking gone home. Oh, or she would have gone to find another one. She probably wouldn't have been the only one who'd been like, oh, I'll go find another one. Because little do y'all know, there's two other idols out there. So at least not two, at least one from Hunters, because he's is the only one from the merge. So I take that back. There's still, there's one idol that's already out there. And it would be a trip if the next game, both idols are found. I would, like, and let's start playing. <laughs> 
fucking play. For and go people out for legitimate reasons, not barely, because I want to build up my resume. You barely got to throw a challenge last episode. Like, bull. Like, where is... Uh, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But apparently, Survivor 50 is all stars. So we got to wait till Survivor 50. Is it 50 or 46? Uh, 47? No, I think... Well, I'll look. I'll look back at it. We'll, okay. we'll clarify, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, because I did see that. Because um, I wonder if Boston Rob is going to be on it. Because I follow him on IG, and I see that he, yeah, I see that he he's been putting little breadcrumbs and stuff out. Like, hey, you guys ready? Like little stuff like that. So I'm like, huh? I'd love to see a good Boston Rod back. Of course, you got to bring Sandra. You got to bring Sari back. Bring Jeremy back. Bring James back. Oh, two pieces of chocolate right there. <laughs> Married men. I'm just looking at you and less than you, baby. I ain't going to break up no happy home, but you look good. But, um, yeah, I'd love to see a good Survivor All-Star. Some people that actually know how to play the game. And then maybe they can do this season over. Or you know what? They should have like a <laughs> survivor interns, you know, or survivor buddy system. You know, you come in like a uh, an all star with a rookie or like a mentor mentee type thing. Challenge. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how they used to have family members that come in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and an all star is paired up with a rookie mm -hmm. and y'all are together until you get to the merge. And then it's every man for themselves. That's what needs to happen because this season, this thing, 46, they needed mentors. They needed guides. They needed <laughs> spirit guides because I don't know what the fuck is going on with this season. I don't. I don't. And y'all couldn't just use like a, a local Fusion restaurant to cater. You got to bring in Applebee's next. You know, um, Proxy got to get his sponsorship in where he can get in, baby. Okay, now a few words for my sponsors. I Proxy. I manage Proxy. Speaking of sponsors, uh, Burner, Burner for the Cookies brand, let sponsor us. I love your work, man. Stupid. <laughs> Any final thoughts on this episode before we get out of here, girl? I, I am I, I am upset that Tiffany did leave, but it is what it is. And she'll be back because I already know that she's going to be back another season. She has to be back. She has to be. But I'm just, I, I, I thought this season was going to get a bit more conniving. And it really is Maria just like, and Charlie's like her <laughs> baby boy. <laughs> I just don't understand it. Maria going to end up winning this thing. Oh, Maria is going to dog walk their ass. She's been yeah. dog walking them. And leave no more, no crumbs, Maria, because you she deserve eaten. every, my she God. Really is. She really is. Entertaining. Like she you really are is. playing the game. And that's why I picked you as one, of, as my top three. Mm hmm. I think I said Tevin, you, and somebody else. I think I said Tevin Soda and Maria. Yeah. Because I was for the special ed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I was going for Soda a little bit, but then I could see like, mm, yeah, no, nah, it's not going to work. She's, she's not, not going to work. Mm -mm. It's not going to work. Mm -mm. So, but at least Maria still in it. Yes. So thank God. Represent the mamas, Maria. Keep it up. So guys, thank y'all for coming back to this review. Um, make sure you sharing yeah. us out, giving us a thumbs up. I'm a like whore, you know, so hit the thumbs up on your way out. We appreciate you guys for coming. This has been Survivor Season 46, Episode 10. We appreciate y'all for watching and we will see y'all next time. Get, Get sexy. Me. Go probesy. Get 